Washington, ghost-like objects dart across the radar screen at the CAA Traffic Control Center at National Airport for several hours, traveling more than 100 miles an hour. Air Force jet fighters spend several hours chasing the objects plotted on the radar scope. Something else is out there. There's something else out there, okay. Of all the banks and braes of Bonnie Scotland, none holds more fascination than the murky waters of Loch Ness. Tell me, do you think there is life on other planets? Well, I'm not quite yes. sure, but I suppose there would be. No, he seems definite. Yeah. He seems definite. Definitely. How do you see this life and where? Oh, I've seen a flying saucer. If you've never given much thought to subjects like cryptozoology or UFOs, or maybe even think there's nothing to any of it, I have a story to share with you. The story begins about six years ago when I was staying with some friends in a small town about 30 miles north of Orlando, Florida. It was in July and every night I'd go outside to check the night sky. It was about 9 p.m. and I'd gone out to do my nightly thing. But when I looked up at the moon, which was almost directly overhead, I actually looked away to rub my eyes because I couldn't believe what I saw. But when I looked back, it was still there and it was no illusion. There flying around the moon in a clockwise direction, from my point of view, were these enormous things which looked like dragons. That's right, I said it, dragons. Just bear with me. Now by the very slow swoop of their bat-like wings, I could tell that they were huge. I could hear their screams and roars tearing down through the night air. I thought maybe there were dozens of them, but when I looked up higher, they seemed to be flying at different altitudes, but all circling in the same direction. They were impossible to count. They were all black, being silhouetted by the moon above them, so I could see no colors or details. But there was no doubt about their overall reptilian look, and I could estimate the lowest ones were up about 500 feet, but it's hard to know for sure. It was a really frightening sight, and I wondered if they could see me standing down there on the dark driveway. Not a very comforting thought. I wanted to run to get to my friends to witness what I was seeing, but I was afraid of what I might miss. Now, just in case you think that this is the craziest shit you've ever heard, just wait. A few moments later, I noticed an enormous craft slowly approaching from the right of where these dragons were flying. This goddamn thing was so big, it was like a dozen times the width of the moon and blacker than black and in the classic flying saucer shape but there was no dome or no lights or windows I also noticed that there was this eerie black wispy curly mist all along the edge of the ship which I thought must be some kind of cloaking device the ship was totally silent as it slowly approached where the creatures flew never speeding up never slowing down never stopping. Finally, it engulfed the entire area where the dragons flew, and when it moved away, the night sky was empty again except for the stars and the moon. Now, I took my ass directly inside and told my friends what I'd just seen. But being the skeptics they were, they said I'd probably only seen bats or birds. But I know what I witnessed, and it was something I've never seen before and frankly hope to never see again. I had this wild idea as to what this was all about, but I'm only guessing. You know how when people are out boating, they'll sometimes jump into the water for a refreshing swim? Well, maybe those creatures left their craft to stretch those huge wings and were just circling there waiting for their ship to catch up with them to get back on board. Now, like I said, that's only a guess, and who the hell knows what they were really up to? And what about that big-ass UFO? Who was controlling it? 
and what was its relationship to the dragons. Of course, an experience like this is something that I can never forget. In a way, I feel lucky. You see, not only did I get to witness something that very few, if any, have ever witnessed, I was shown, in no uncertain terms, that there is far, far more to the world and the universe around us than we could ever imagine.